Hi, I'm Martha and this is Mitch and we recently decided to quit our jobs and sell our house to pursue our dream of travelling full time. In the last video we made our way through France and explored small towns and villages along the way. We made our first van life mistake and take a trip to the beach for the first time. If you missed that video, click the card in the right hand corner to catch up. The one time we decided to leave our table and chairs outside for the night because it was 34 degrees yesterday. They're now absolutely soaking. So we stayed in a place called Byron last night uh, on this little... Wait, Mitch, is it a pond? Is it a pond? Or is it a lake? Yeah, we're about an hour away from the Pyrenees at the moment. So we had a quick scout at the shopping, the plate, what are they called? We had a little scout around uh, at the supermarkets around where, in the Pyrenees, and there's only little ones. So we're gonna do a stock up today at Lidl because it's officially been a week since we left, which is crazy. So we've made a list and we're gonna head there and try and grab everything that we need to last us a little while without having to spend a fortune on groceries when we're when we're up in the mountains oh you're so cute oh my god look at his balls whoa he's oh. like me shut <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> you got that much on it but you've not even got that much on it oh no Declined, okay, great. So we've just been in to Decathlon and bought myself some socks and we Not went for the bed. <laughs> <That's my laughs> bed. We, I did go for the bigger size in the end because I was scared that my legs would get cold. But I don't know how it's gonna go. We're planning on hopefully doing a hike that we sleep in the tent for one night. So if it is too bad then it's only one night, isn't it? There's something you used to call your mate, I can't remember what it was, and you used to say, oh good, because that means you've got African bum disease. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. What? Oh, I can't think of the word. Oh, skillage. Whoa. I've got skillage. <laughs> and you say, and you say, that's an African bum disease. <laughs> Is that actually? I don't know, but that's what you used to say at school. Oh dear. I'll make you've got a skillage. You've got a skillage, mate. <laughs> This is where Park for Night's taken us. There's no one here. Is this where it is? Yeah. Here? Let's just find her. Oh, yes. There's a goal someone's there, been, can't you? But someone's been having, a, been having fires. Oh, 
Well, I need to get your reaction for over there. Mate, this is so sick. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. You can walk down. I want to get in. <laughs> you know that's going to be freezing though. Yeah. Let's go down. I'll get there. He's <laughs> like a little kid. I can't even explain this right now. What the hell? Why am I getting emotional? <laughs> This is so good. <laughs> what are you getting sad for? This is just insane. <laughs> this is crazy. Are you brave enough to get in though? I mean, I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> How cold. <laughs> I knew it was going to be cold. <laughs> Marv, you've got to get in this, you can't not. Listen to Wim Hof. Yeah, you got to at least go to your shoulders though. Come on. <laughs> yeah, go on. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> you gotta stay in. That's it, I'm done. <laughs> He's going in. You're doing well. <laughs> you look so tiny. <laughs> we just said we were going back up to go get warm and Mitch being Mitch has had to go back in to get further than he got before. But <laughs> oh my God. You made it. <laughs> We're actually quite cold now. It's it's not the warmest day here anyway. I think it's only like 23 degrees. So I'm uh, currently making us a coffee, and Mitch is currently just outside getting I don't know where he's gone. Getting some logs because there's a little fire pit here. I've had to go walk for Martha because she's been gone for about five minutes. Let's see what she's doing. Ma, are oh, you down here? <laughs> She's been grafting. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it's like a little treasure hunt for wood. What's happening, Mitch? I'm trying to make some kindling. It's not working very well. Looks pretty dangerous to me. We're having a little bit of, sh bit of trouble trying to start the fire. Look at that placement. You just don't go up and give it up. <laughs> Oh, oh. Come on. How confident are you? I'm 100% confident now. It's about how long later? How? Uh, two minutes and 36 seconds, I reckon. I reckon about half an hour. No way. <laughs> We've got fire. Oh, I've done bits. <laughs> <laughs> we have actually decided to stay the night again here so we've just set up everything and we're gonna have a day where we're not actually driving for once which would be quite nice 
We saw some people yesterday walking down the track that we were walking to get wood from and it turns out this runs into the Lawrence town itself so we're going to actually just do this as our walk today as we've decided we've decided tomorrow to do the 18 kilometer hike up one of the mountains here which will be our overnight so we thought we'd take it easy today have a quite a chilled day this is not what i expected when we said we were walking into town what would you jump? No. This is how your grandparents explained the walk to school was. Yeah, I thought we were walking into town. We're meant to be. <laughs> Not going over landslides. Oh my days. Oh my god. So we're turning back. <laughs> turning back. This isn't boding well for our walk tomorrow, but yeah i didn't anticipate it was going to be like that i thought we were just going to be walking down the river everything in the town is another like what 20 minutes or so and um we decided we should save our legs <laughs> i don't know how this is gonna go <laughs> these next couple of days so i'm gonna start preparing food for tomorrow we're gonna have overnight oats tomorrow morning because we want to get off quite swiftly and that requires like no washing up so I'm gonna make that now also if you're not adding these my protein flavor drops into your overnight oats you're missing out Okay, so the camera battery died. But what I've done, oh no, I've got hair on it. And then I added a splash of almond milk, more in Mitch's because he has more oats than me. And then I put like two pipette full of the marzipan flavour drops. And then it's looking like that at the moment. So now I literally just try and not spill it everywhere, but usually. I make a mess so that's like the consistency afterwards so that'll that'll thicken up in the fridge overnight are we all ready I think so. <laughs> how confident are you oh, not very that's it for this video we really hope you enjoyed watching part one of our pyrenees trip in the next video we will tackle our first ever overnight hike that was way harder than expected it tested our limits but was definitely worth it in the end. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss it and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate it. See you next time.